This project uses an MSP430 as a MIDI controlled musical instrument. Let's take a look at how it works. Asynchronous serial MIDI signals come from a standard MIDI keyboard. The MIDI pins look like this. Those signals are opto-isolated and turned into a 3-volt binary signal, so that they can be interpreted by the MSP430's UART serial module. Here's the opto-isolator circuit. The MSP430 is programmed to read those MIDI signals, determine what note to play, and output the desired frequency to a speaker or amplifier. Here's the output pin crudely connected to an audio cable. Here's the keyboard and setup, including an oscilloscope which was used to analyze both MIDI and audio signals. And here's the completed circuit on the breadboard. Okay, now let's see it in action. The oscilloscope will display the MIDI serial messages inputted to the MSP430. You may have noticed the instrument going back to an old note that was being held after the new note was turned off. Notes are stored in a buffer when they are held down and then deleted from that buffer when they are turned off. This way, the MSP430 knows which notes are being held even as new notes are played. A certain logic in the code tells the MSP430 which note to play. Let's see that buffer in action again. The code is designed to gradually change the output frequency between notes. You may have noticed gradual shifting between frequencies. Let's observe that frequency shifting again with the oscilloscope. Okay, now let's see something a bit more musical. Thanks for watching.